For this demo, I'm going to release new firmware using the Particle GitHub Actions. The code change will display a different message on my four-digit display. Let's move into Workbench. I'm going to commit these code changes, create a pull request, and push it up to GitHub. When I publish my branch, that triggers a git push event, and the git push event will start a GitHub action. So if I refresh this plugin, we'll see that job number 28 has started. It's a build job. It's going to check out the source code and compile the firmware. Normally, I would wait for a peer to review my pull request, but for this demo, as soon as the build job completes, we're going to merge the pull request. These jobs move quickly once they start. The compile will take about seven seconds and flash development device will be skipped because this is not on the main branch. I'm going to merge this pull request now and that will kick off another build job on the main branch. This time, the build job will flash firmware to my device. And actually we can keep this open to compare. The build job runs in GitHub's hosted environment. Once the job starts again, it moves pretty quick. This time, the device will receive an OTA update from the Particle Cloud with the changes. It's starting now, and we should see a new message on the display. So job 29 is complete, and you can see that 28 did not flash, and 29 did flash. Let's release this firmware. I'm going to switch to my main branch and synchronize my changes. Now I'm going to run the firmware upload job. This is going to compile the firmware and upload it to Particle and GitHub. It does not OTA anything but the known development device. So refreshing this plugin again and we'll see job 8 has started. The upload job has more steps. The compiling is happening with automatic versioning. If a git revision of the source code is greater than the git revision that set the product version, the version number will be incremented. We can see that the uploading finished, a git commit with the version change was pushed to GitHub, and firmware was uploaded to Particle and GitHub. Now if we check our web browser, we'll see that there is a new Particle firmware and a new GitHub release. Let's release this firmware to our product. Check out the Particle IoT GitHub organization and search for actions to find this repository and more examples. 